Good Tuesday evening and thanks for coming back to us here on KSAN News at 5. Scattered showers and storms have been with us really throughout the day and we're continuing to see that here on radar. The heaviest precipitation in a couple pockets, one out here towards Erie and County. We have another down here east of Junction into parts of Kimball County. Looks like Brady possibly seeing uh, some thunderstorm activity here soon at minimum. Uh, some moderate rainfall, some moderate intensity rainfall, also a pocket of precipitation coming out of Reynolds County into northern Tom Green and southern Coke County as we speak. And with that wave of moisture that's moving across Erie and County from east to west, a flood advisory in effect until 5.30 p.m., so another 18 minutes or so. Just be careful out there, especially with the low water crossings. Temperatures are in the 70s and 80s. 81 right now in Brady and Arizona. A bit cooler uh, in San Angelo where it's 74. And those winds, 5 to 15 miles an hour with a gust up to 18 in Arizona. I know we got tropical storms. Bill, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. We're not going to see the wind with Bill, but we'll see a little bit of the rain. In fact, some of the showers and storms we're seeing now are being induced on the western side of that system. 73 in El Dorado, 74 in Sonora for a dew point. When you're in the 60s, it's muggy. When uh, you're in the 70s, it's very humid. So you're definitely feeling the humidity today, and we're going to continue to see some muggy conditions through the overnight into tomorrow and for the next few days, to be honest with you. Dew points won't be dropping out of the 60s. Scattered precipitation persists for tonight as well as tomorrow. Both time frames, it's a 40% chance for precipitation, and uh, any storms that do develop are not expected to be severe, but we could see some localized flooding, as we have seen over the last 24 hours. Daytime highs are going to be rising late this week, and then gusty winds are going to be materializing this weekend and extending into the early part of next work week. We're talking about gusts, according to the latest data, that are going to be in the ballpark of 20 to 30 miles an hour, again, this weekend and early next work week. Here's the satellite radar on the regional scale, and you can see that rain across much of Texas, and, you know, it's good to see here. Some of that rain, we don't necessarily need the flooding, but usually it's a byproduct of anything over a half inch in a lot of places. Uh, out towards uh, areas south and west of Houston, in fact, it was between Corpus Christi and Houston, uh, closer to Victoria, that uh, they saw landfall earlier today. Uh, it was at 11.45 a.m. This uh, tropical storm, tropical storm may, Bill, made landfall with 60 mile per hour winds. Right now, the winds are still up around 50 miles per hour. The storm moving to the north northwest, so heading like this. And we'll take a look at what the models are saying in terms of where this is headed. And you can see each of these lines. That is a separate model. It's an individual model. And if you kind of take the average of this, it's going to take the storm off towards the north. It's going to be near the northern and eastern side of the storm where they're going to see the most, most robust moisture, where they're probably going to see the flooding rains. Already seeing that out towards Houston, and this is going to run right up around the I-35 corridor. Dallas is probably going to end up seeing some flooding as the storm eventually ejects north into Oklahoma and then curtails back to the north and east. We're going to be sideswiped by certainly some of this moisture on the western side of the system as it moves northbound. Again, the wind is not going to be a factor, and the gusty winds that are expected this weekend have nothing to do with Tropical Storm Bill. Looking at your future cast for tonight, lots of clouds. The showers and storms are going to be scattered. Again, it's a 40% chance for precip. Any storms that develop are not expected to be severe. Tomorrow around noon, again, a lot of clouds and then maybe some breaks of sunshine out there, but a 40% chance for showers and storms. Some of it strong in nature, but not severe. And then as we go through Wednesday night into early, early Thursday morning, that's interesting. That's a pretty strong cell there. So we'll watch, especially the Northwest Hill Country, as we go through Wednesday night for maybe some strong thunderstorm activity or of course, some flooding uh, that could materialize, and then a 20% chance for precipitation on Thursday. This is the Storm Prediction Center outlook for Wednesday and Wednesday night. No severe storms, but we could see just general thunderstorm activity uh, as we go through uh, the 24-hour period between tomorrow and tomorrow night. 40% chance Wednesday, 20% chance Thursday, a leftover chance there Thursday night. And then on Sunday, the European model spitting out some showers and storms, but it's uh, the only model doing that. So uh, most of the other data suggesting a dry setup as we go through the late week and early next work week. 68 tonight, only to rebound back to 84 tomorrow. Most of the partly cloudy skies tomorrow with that 40% chance for showers and storms. And then in the seven-day forecast, temperatures rising back into the 90s by the end of the work week. 91 both Saturday and Sunday with those gusty breezes. That's your KSAN First Alert weather update.